I recently sat down with Pratiba Raj, the director of Ormiston Legal. Ormiston Legal is the highest tier sponsor for our recently released Jungli song. To me, Pratiba is an inspiring entrepreneur who has done amazing things with her work, not only with her law firm, but also with her charitable causes as well. The following is a discussion about her life and how she got to where she is today. We started the conversation by asking what Ormiston Legal actually does. I'm the principal and the director of Ormiston Legal. I established my law firm in 2010, so it's been 14 years. I opened my legal practice in Papadui Town, where we used to do only immigration work. Uh, later on, I branched into doing family matters, conveyancing sale and purchase of businesses, and also probate, letters of administration, commercial, residential property, trust in estates. I'm now a legal aid provider for family, so if someone is not able to hire a lawyer in terms of any matrimonial issues or family issues or custody of children, adoption, we are able to do all that and the government will pay if you are eligible. We then asked her a little bit about the size of the Ormiston Legal team. We've got about 13 staff in total and each staff specialises in separate areas of law. I have also branched out my uh, practice in Fiji, in Suva, and uh, we provide immigration services, conveyancing and all other types of legal work. So if someone is in New Zealand and they would like to sell their property in Fiji, we are able to assist with that. It becomes easy to have a lawyer in Fiji who can assist you while you are in New Zealand. So our law firm is in Auckland, Flatbush and also in Suva, Fiji. We also wanted to know a little bit more about Pratiba, the person. I myself am from Suva, Fiji Islands, and I would like to give something back to the community. I've established my charitable trust, which is Pratiba Rat Charitable Trust, and I have been assisting people with needs and I have helped people in Fiji as well, and I would like to continue to do that and hopefully I'd like to go big with in terms of my charitable trust. After seeing all the various things Pratiba was involved in, I wanted to know what was her why? What made her get involved with all these things? I've always had this in my heart. I wanted to help people, especially women and children. As a family lawyer, I've seen a lot of children suffered because of parents being separated. There's been violence, domestic violence against women and I would like to be part of a group who would come out and help these people who really need our, a helping hand. And I've also, when I went to Fiji in February this year, I saw this little Fijian boy sitting on the street in Cumming Street. And I asked him, why didn't you go to school? He, was, he could have been about 14 and 15 years of age. And he said, my parents are separated and I'm hungry. My heart just melted. So I took him to a restaurant. I gave him a good feed. I hoped that I would see him next day, but I couldn't find him. And there was also a lady, Indian lady, with two kids on the street and they were begging. It is really heartbreaking to see these little kids who should be going to school and they are begging with their mother on the street. My heart just feels for them and I would really like to do something for my country and I'm working towards that and I'm hoping to give 10% of whatever I earn in my Suva office to my charitable trust so we can help people out there. That's my long-term plan. I then drilled down a little bit more into Pratiba's charitable trust to find out a little bit more about what they do. We've just started. I was thinking of providing like medical equipment to hospitals. I have helped with the refurbishment of the Levuka Hospital with another organisation and I intend to provide equipment especially for the children, the disabled children in Fiji. They do have a school or facility for the kids who are disabled in each suburb in Fiji. So I would like to be part of that and provide the equipment and the necessary tools or resources and books to assist these children. We then asked Pratiba about where it all began. I completed my law degree in 1997 in Suva, Fiji Islands, a University of the South Pacific. Then I got admitted to the bar in 1998. 
I migrated to New Zealand in 2002 and that's when I did some legal work into at various law firms and I had to do my legal practice exam after I got admitted to the bar at the high, in the High Court of Auckland, New Zealand and then I slowly started my practice in 2010, May 2010 and since then I've been yeah, expanding and now we have about four, 13 to 14 staff. I started in a very very small office in Papatoi with just a laptop and a printer and yeah so we've done really well. I followed up then by asking her more about how she became successful, how she got to where she is today. It was very difficult to be honest. Being a, a woman not having New Zealand work experience and struggling and having to compete with the New Zealanders. It was a big struggle. I had to do odd jobs in the beginning. No one would take me because I, I didn't have one, my registration, two, no New Zealand experience. It was a big struggle for me. So after doing the odd jobs and getting my registration done, I managed to get work at a law firm where I gained my legal experience. And then after gaining more than three years of experience, I decided to go on my own. I actually had to work really hard. I did late nights, I worked in the weekend. I didn't see what time was it. I used to answer calls late at night, the clients would call me. I used to do a lot of pro bono work as well and pro bono work where I felt that people needed my help and they couldn't afford a lawyer's fee. So I was out there helping people as well and I, I think I got blessing from them in the process. I didn't ask Pratiba what advice she had for others out there who want to make it big and do something and become successful in their endeavors. Continue to strive, never give up, take risk. If you don't take risk in your life, you will never succeed. Don't be afraid, trust, believe in yourself, and keep going. Following this, I wanted to know why Pratiba helped us out. Why did she choose to support the Jung Lee song? Her answer got me, got me here. Yeah. Firstly because it was Fiji Indians and I would, I'm always there for my community to help and support my community and I was very pleased to know that we Fiji Indians are now progressing, doing really well, going into the movies and I, I'm always a supporter for my Fiji Indian community. They've got very good talent and people need to know about their talents and we need to put it out there so people know that the Fiji Indians are very talented people and they can do really good like the ones that we see in India, how they, the talent shows and things like that. And yeah, I mean, we are outstanding individuals as well. We finished off by asking Pratiba who Ormiston lawyers can help. So we are happy to help anyone with any legal issues in terms of like buying a property, it's your first property and people are really excited and we are there to help you and guide you through the process. If you're buying a business, we do sale and purchase of business as well. We also help people in migrating to New Zealand and also to Australia. So anyone who wants to migrate, we are there for you. People who have had their visas declined and have had criminal convictions or medical conditions, we can do character waiver, medical waiver, and we can help you get your resident status sorted in New Zealand or in Australia. And also people who have had uh, family issues, in terms of where a couple are separating, going through the divorce and their children involved, we can help with that as well. We do custody applications in family court, we look after relationship property agreements and also help people make a will. If someone passes away, we do letters of administration and probate and obviously sale and purchase of businesses as well. Yeah, so we can offer a whole lot of services and I'll be happy to assist anyone with those types of legal issues. I just want to close off this video by saying a massive thank you to Pratiba Raj. Without their help, we could not have made our song a possibility. Pratiba Raj and the team at Ormiston Lawyers are amazing. If you ever need legal help in any areas mentioned in the video today, please do not hesitate to contact the Ormiston Lawyers team.